So welcome back, everybody. I have some batteries to test today. A little review and testing. So I was contacted by XSTAR, and they asked me if I'd like to review and try their batteries, which they have for sale on Amazon. And I explained to them that uh, I haven't had the best luck in the past out of the lie-eye on AA's and AAA's. So I have tried this before uh, without any luck. Actually, two brands. I bought these, and these were absolutely terrible. They didn't have enough power to even turn on any of my Mini Zs. And I'm talking about my Mini Z first series, not these ones. And those ones only take, you know, three volts. And it didn't have enough constant power for them to even turn the power on. You turn it on, the lights would just flicker, and that would be it. And I wouldn't even run these in my radios because I was afraid they'd go dead on me and I'd lose control of my vehicle. So they've just kind of been setting off to the side. And I bought another brand a couple years ago that were I tried the same thing and they didn't work I ended up throwing them away and that has caused me to go back to just the standard nickel old nickel metal hydrates and those have been working fine for this actually I can put the nickel metal uh, nickel metal hydrate batteries in my mini Z's and I haven't ran them fully dead yet I've tried and I've, I've ran them for over an hour and they haven't gone fully dead. And especially, you know, when I'm running the drift one, keeping the throttle on all the time, you would think it would run out. But they sent these, and I'm going to give them a try and see if they'll actually work for what I need. Uh, this is supposed to be able to charge lithium ion and nickel metal hydrate. And let's see here. It tells you your charging times and that you can mix double A's, triple A's. And this is a Type C port charger. Has, uh, has good heat dispersion and let's see five volts at two amps nine volts at two amps okay that's just telling our charging currents mm, charger cable manual so let's open them up and look at them oh that's nice look at that that's appreciated just that little tab I can't I don't have very very much on the fingernails so I can't pull those out very easily normally Let's flip this over, and what do we have here? Okay, so they have sent me double A's. I didn't, wasn't 100% sure whether I was getting double or triples. They're all stored nicely. That's really nice. So my current charger, I can charge four on. Let's see, this is probably, yep. When you pop this out, you can put your triple A's behind it. And that will allow you to charge both styles of batteries. And this says it'll handle both, so I should still be able to use my nickel metals on that as well. Well, I guess the only thing to do, and it does come with the, the cable too, I just left it in the other room, is to plug these in, let them charge up, and I'll put them in one of my Mini Z first, which they take the double A's, and we'll see if it has enough to even turn them on because my other batteries did not. And we'll try them in a couple other applications. Uh, I'll get my meter out. And we'll do a couple readings against them compared to other 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 batteries. And just, just give them a, a fair test and see if they're any good. I, I would love them to be good because I would absolutely love to finally start using a different style battery. I really would like to use the lithium ion batteries, which we, which we have here. Well, that's a 4150 milliwatt hours. Rechargeable Li-Ion battery. All right. Unique low voltage indicator. Hmm. Well, I wonder where, what the unique low voltage indicator is. Uh, build in BMS protective. Okay, so it just shuts itself off at low voltage so you don't damage your batteries. It doesn't have like a button or anything you depress to look at them. I'm going to plug these guys in, let them charge up, and we'll test them against nickel metals and see how they do. We are all set up, and I've got a, a variety of batteries here. I want to do a little test. So we're going to use our out-of-the-package brand-new AA just to show you what voltage we should be getting, you know, if we're buying just one from the store. Then I plus I have the nickel metal hydrate AA's and AAA's, which both should carry 1.5 volts, but I know from previous experience that the nickel metal hydrate or batteries take just a little bit less, so they're not the full 1.5. And then we have our new X-Star batteries, which, pleasant surprise, I went to put them on the charger, they're all fully charged. Well, I'm going to get my meter over here. 
that turned on. Hopefully you can see that dial decently. All right, I got a little closer. So this may be a little difficult to read on the screen. Hopefully not. I'm going to put this on our negative and our positive. And you see we have, oh, there we go, 1.5.0 volts, 0 0.4, 105.04. And that's about where we should be off of a brand new battery. Now here is one of the nickel metal hydrates. And this is going to probably come up lower. Yep. There we go. We got 1.411. And let's try with a nickel metal hydrate double A's. And you can see these are big brand names. Uh, 1.314, so that one's even a little bit lower. These have a little bit more age on them, but still, those are a fully charged battery. Now let's try one of our X-Stars out. I'll just grab one kind of from the middle of the pack. 1.537, nice. So what I'm going to end up doing right here is shut that off. Maybe. So I'm going to take... A set of these guys and put them in our RX7 here it takes two and I'll take two more of them put them in my radio and I'm just gonna set up on my track and do a hyperlapse and see how long they run before they even start to show any signs of dying or until I get tired of running so I will meet you on the track I was installing our batteries and I noticed this. I was wondering how they're able to send them fully charged because just under normal recommendations, you don't keep your batteries stored in your charger. And here's how. They had them separated, that piece of plastic. So remember that is there. And once you have that out, you may want to remove them and store them in a different battery holder, which I just happened to have 3D printed one out. So we'll be good to go there. And while we're out, let's power this thing on. All right, well, it's looking for signal, so we've, we've got power. Okay, got the stopwatch out there. We got our batteries installed. I'm going to turn this thing on, put that thing on hyperlapse. Let it go as we uh, record and just see how long we go till either the batteries die or I get tired. Well, let me turn it on now. Got a little switch here. Let me turn it on high. Oh, there we go. They won't power it. Yeah, I can go from off to on. It'll go for like a brief second and I'll turn it off and back on. And that's it. That's all we're getting out of it, which is unfortunate. So, made some interesting revelations. Um, I think these batteries are too high of capacity for some of these little pieces of electronics like these mini Z's. Because if I just put in a half-dead set of double A's I got out of a radio that have been in there for quite some time and turn it on. Let's see, am I turning on the right radio here? Yeah, okay. It works. And these are never real fast, so I wasn't expecting those to make it crazy, but I expected them to work. But I think this electronics board in here the ESC receiver will not accept those batteries because they are too high of a voltage. And so from doing further experiments, this is why. Now, this is a more modern piece of electronics. This is my, my airplane radio, and it displays the voltage on top. When it gets fired up here, it's going to tell you right there. How well you can see that, but it says 6 volts. Get in a little closer... There you go. So it says six volts right there. And when I put brand new double A's in this, like brand new energizers or other brands, I get about 5.9 volts. 
Now, I've done this experiment with some of my other Spectrum radios and my FlySky radios, and I'm getting the same results. I am getting peak power out of these batteries when I'm putting them in my radios and things like that. And just kind of something else is I did a mix batch. I put in two of their batteries, the, the lithium-ion batteries there, and then I put in these nickel metal hydrates and did a mix charge because it said it would do both. And it charged both of them. And maybe, maybe you can see this here. So on my energizers, you remember what voltage we had before it was like 1.38 or something. But yeah, we're at 1.41 for now. So this charger actually put a little bit more voltage into these batteries than I was getting from my energizer charger, which is kind of interesting. These are a little bit older batteries, but not super old. And with their batteries, I just went ahead and put a fresh charge out of the ones I put in that car just in case. Getting 1.529. So we're getting peak voltage out of these. As far as if you want to use them in flashlights, I, I didn't have any problems in flashlights. I tried them in some flashlights. Um, radios, just normal stuff you'd keep double A's in that you'd want to recharge remotes and things around the house. I think these would be perfect. If you're trying to run some of these style of older electronics that don't accept it, and I suppose they want just the voltages from like a nickel metal battery, they're not going to work for that. Which, interesting interesting to learn for me because I, I never even thought that would be something that would happen, that you could actually have a battery that would have too much power for it. And I believe that's what we're encountering here. As I said, I'm getting peak values in everything else, but not in some of these older electronics. So overall, I'm going to give them a good rating. I can't really uh, knock their batteries for the electronics not accepting them because they're too good of a voltage. You'd, I just need to use them in the things that is appropriate. I now know that I cannot use any kind of LiPo or lithium ion batteries in my little mini Zs, and I'll have to stick with the nickel metals on those. And that means the other batteries I probably thought were no good were probably fine too because the only thing I tried them in was this. And I didn't really even do a review on them. I just bought them and gave them a whirl. Uh, all in all, at the end of the, the review, I, I think we're good to go. I think you'll find this to be a pretty nice charger battery setup, uh, especially if you're wanting them for just your stuff around the house and all of your, if you're an RC guy like me, all of your radios, perfect for that. They seem to do really good on the radios. And I'm going to keep testing them. Uh, if I come up with anything different, I'll let you know. I'm actually going to contact the manufacturer and ask them about this being too powerful for some of the older electronics and see if I can get a clarification from them just to be sure. But thanks for watching everybody. I hope you found this useful and found these, these tests useful. I know I did. I learned some interesting information today. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one. Quick little finish up on our X-Star batteries. They did respond, and yes, this is a problem. It has happened before with them not working in some of the like RC cars and things that have a certain like cutoff voltage where they won't allow you to put in the wrong batteries. And since these have a higher voltage than like the NICAD batteries and stuff and the nickel metal batteries that were originally run things like that, it just won't accept this higher voltage. So that's a uh, something you're going to run into if you're trying to put it in some of the electronics like anything that probably has a voltage shut off or something like that but if you're putting them in radios and controllers and and pretty much everything else flashlights and stuff i think they're going to be pretty good batteries so i just want to give a little quick finish up on that and i'll leave the link for these in below and if you're interested and go check them out